Greetings and salutations, one and all. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, it's me, it's your nomadic granddaddy. And we are here, back in the world of Horizon 5, to finish off the festival playlist for the winter season of Series 11. Yes, it's time to get to the meat of it. Uh, in Part 1, we did the Hot Wheels. Let's just go over here. We did the two Hot Wheels events. Uh, the championship with the saloons and then we did the uh, drift as well as the treasure hunt so if you're wondering about the treasure hunt Twiza hunt uh, there you go okay uh, there you go. it's in part one okay so let's just go to our weekly challenge that's where we're gonna start the 2000 Nissan all right, Silva, so let's get in that car. And wait, wait, before I do that, how about my mastery on the, ooh, look. Little hit, see, it disappears, it disappears. There's the evidence once again. They still haven't fixed that frigging glitch. Okay, so we're going to Nissan, as some would call it. I say Nissan, some say Nissan. Depends on what part of the world you're in, isn't it? Doesn't it? Isn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Isn't it? Ooh. And there we go, the 2000 Silva Spec R. Let's get in that sucker, shall we? Woohoo! Yes, I want it delivered. Come on, son. Let's see what we got. As I open my ice mountain carbonated water here. Drift machine is complete. Ah, what? Okay. Pardon me while I do a little bit of a drinky poo here. Okay, what, 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 what? <coughs> um, <laughs> I'm just going out of my friggin' mind right now. <clears throat> uh, I'm, yeah, okay, so what do we got here? Chapter 2, we need to do a street race. So we have to go to Mexico. So let's go to Mexico. And while the game is taking us to Mexico, I would like you to take your attention, if you're watching this on Twitch, to go to the follow section of this channel and follow this channel. And if you're watching it on YouTube, how about clicking the subscription button? Subscribe to this YouTube channel. That would be greatly appreciated on both and I or either front, right? There you go. But if you are on YouTube, there's a little bit more you can do on YouTube watching this. Oh, yes, there is, my friend. See that little thumbs up icon there? Ooh, how about grabbing a hold of that and clicking on that thumbs up icon to like this video? And then you know what else you can do? You can set the notifications on the subscription to where you're notified at whatever convenience you prefer when new videos go up on this channel. Isn't that a wonderful little thing? Yes, it is. If you so like, you can share the video. You got my blessing with it. Share it to who you want to share it with. And, hey, drop me a line if you'd like. I don't, yeah, well, hey, I like to meet new people. Eh, yeah. Okay, where are we at? <clears throat> We're in Mexico. I didn't want to do that because I wanted to beef this sucker up really quick. Uh-huh. I don't care about the gift. The gift can suck it. No offense if, if that's who you are, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of done for a while with uh, barn gifts. Uh, I'm I'm kind of over it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's see what the mastery looks like on this. Okay, we've al I've already gotten into it. Let's just do a quick upgrade on it. You know what? I'm gonna jack it up. Let's just boost it. Right? What are our engine options? We got the inline six. All right. Uh, we got a 6.2 V8. We got a inline-six turbo racing. I kind of like that one. 
And then we've got a 2-6. Oh, a four rotor. Uh, you know, I kind of like I kind of like this one right here for this car. Although, part of me wants to put that rotor in there, but I'm gonna stick with that. I, I'm <laughs> I'm fighting with myself over the rotor though. Uh, let's see what we got here. You know, I'm always partial to that front end. I like it. I don't know why, but I like that. You know what? See, I just like those side slats a little bit on that. No, I'm not that fan. That's not terrible. That's just like, I don't know what that is. I mean, it's Nismo, but still, we could turn it into a Nismo. You want to turn this Nismo? I mean, yeah, we might as well just take it Nismo. I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to go straight up Niz. Let's see what hood we got. We got a C West hood. So we'll put the C West hood on it. I mean, but other than that, everything's going to be, yeah. The Nismo Spec R. How about that? I like it. I can dig it. Can you dig it? I know you could. Oops. All right. We're going to put... I'll just put those on it for now. I mean, I think there's a drift portion coming up, but I'm not 100% sure. One thing we definitely got to do away with, though, are those stinking wheels. Look how ugly those wheels are on this right now. What are you thinking, Nissan? Ugh. I'm going to have nightmares. Um, You know, on this particular car, the way it's set up, I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning to a good old f fashion type, maybe a more beefier wheel. Um, actually, you know, those aren't terrible. That multi-spoke is not terrible. But, that's, you know, what do you do? That's what I was kind of leaning in towards originally. The racing dynamics. But I kind of don't like that rounded look with the, uh, with that body. See, there's your old school five star, right? Now, let's see what else. See now that I've always I've always kind of liked these Volks. I don't you know I just kind of like them. They add a little bit. I don't know. There's something about them I like. And let's look at some. Let's look at the next one over. These are the more designer type. Now that one, you know what? <clears throat> I like that. See, I like I like the the uh, riveted look there. Yeah, we're gonna go with those. Why not? Hey, yeah. All right, let's widen the track out to the maximum. There we go. All right. Whoops. Continue working, please. And I thank you for that. All right, let's just put the 7-speed on it. We're not getting too fancy with the setup. I'm not worried about the diff. Let's just put the good brakes on it. Uh, suspension. Might as well just put a race suspension on it. We'll go a little bit into that, and then we'll go all the way into that. I'm liking the way the launch... And um, acceleration are looking. We're jacking up the turbos on this thing, kids. I mean, th this wow, we're already in S2 range. We're mid S2. Not too shabby here, folks. Not too shabby. Okay, let's install it. Let's 
get it. And I'm just going to throw a quick uh, final gear ratio and a brake set up on it. I'm not going to screw with anything else. I mean, we're just doing a quick race on it anyhow, so there's no sense in fine-tuning this thing. I got it looking the way I want it to look. So there you go. All right, we're at 26 and 32. 26, 32, 217. Is the number still there? Oh, that's quicker. How much? Oh, hello. Yes, we went from 217 to 272. I think we found a sweet spot on that. Yes, we did. Uh, and then we just want to pop the brakes to where they're very, not very, but, you know, they're substantial for the way I drive. Okay, so all is wonderful in the world. I'm going to just take a quick look at what's out there design-wise. And, you know, I mean, we could put the mines on there. Do I want to do that? Oh, I kind of like the Pink Floyd design a little bit, but um, uh, there's really nothing. Oh, and there goes the batteries for the controller. So let me, while you look at these ones that are set up here right now, I'm going to plug this in. If I can. There we go. Wonderful. Um, You know what? We could go mind spec our Nismo, right? <laughs> uh, no, we're not doing that. That's kind of basically sacrilegious in my opinion. Current, whoops, current, current. Let's just see. I'm, I'm doing a quick one. The first one I like that I come across, I'm probably going to choose it. Uh, let's see. Deet, 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 deet. A lot of anime stuff involved here. Uh, that's a little busy down there. I don't want anything terribly busy, really. I just want... I just want a decent looking... And I'm not saying none of these are decent. I mean, they're all very well done from what I'm seeing. They're just not what I'm looking for for this particular car. <clears throat> I just wow I figured because this is such a car a commonly used car that I don't know what I was thinking well I do know what I was I was thinking there'd be a little bit more racing but it's all a lot of it's all the drifty and the there's nothing really put together that says boom shaka laka in my mind. You know, that grabs my eyeballs here. Uh, that's not terrible. Oh, there we go. I like the 7 Eleven. I'm not. Uh, I'm going to go with the 7 Eleven setup. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> We're going to go 7-Eleven on this. T is not yet done, so I still have my water. So let's save this and get on with the game, shall we? All this for a street race and a couple of drifts. <laughs> Sometimes I just I crack myself up. And sometimes I annoy myself with my distraction level. Yes, I am easily distracted into other things. It makes gaming a lot more interesting. Whoa, holy cow, this sucker. Wow, she, the rear end. That rear end just want to freaking break loose. All right, well, we'll take it. Now we have to do a street race, and there's a street race right there, so let's do it.
Let's get her going. Street race, please. And uh, I probably should have put the race differential on this now. I'm, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, or at least I, I should have probably found a tune. But then if I would have looked for a tune, I wouldn't have found the body style that I want to have. And I like this. I like the look of this car. You know, it, it, it's it's nice. I like it. This I I do like this paint job though. I like the Seven Eleven. Uh, I did not see who created it, so hats off to you if you created this. Good for you. Good on you. Wonderful, wonderful. Groovy, groovy. Don't know if it really fits on this body style that I'm using, but that's all right, you know. It looks good to all the, all the same. And we'll just run this really quick. All right. That, it, I mean, this thing's got some pep to it. That's, that's for sure. Off we go. So here we are on a Friday morning. Woo -hoo -hoo. Once again, I'm having to do part two on a Friday morning before I do my Lego stream. Which isn't really fair to the Lego fans, I guess. It really isn't. That, uh... You know, normally I like to do part two later in the day on Thursday, but lately it's just... You know, I'm, I'm kind of chilled. I want to chill out at the end of the day. And yesterday, my goodness, yesterday it heated up. It was hot. I was ornery. And I was in no mood to play a, a game, especially a racing game. After driving around town all day, that's the last thing I wanted to do. So hopefully you understand. Uh, Lego folks as to why I do part two right now. Oopsie, that's my fault. Ah, crime and diddly. Uh, that's why part two lately has been in the uh, the following morning. And, you know, I apologize to you Horizon fans that I'm not getting it out as soon as I can. But it is what it is, you know. We all have our lives and, you know, this is just, you know, it's fun for me. Uh, if I was getting paid, maybe, yeah, maybe I would be a little bit more. Uh, I would probably, I would, if I was making money off this, yes, I'd be, I'd be more dedicated to what I'm doing, and I'd probably be a little bit, I'd be a little bit more fancier and whatnot. But you know what? This, this is fun. This is my hobby, and it's, you know, gives me something to do. Rather than just sit and play games, it gives me something to do while I'm playing a game. Uh, it keeps my brain active while I'm doing everything. It's very therapeutic. And it keeps me in check while I play the game, too. I mean, obviously there are games that annoy the crap out of me when I'm playing them. And I'm quite sure that comes across very... Uh, obvious at those times but because I'm streaming I don't get as as uh, lit up as I would normally do if that makes any sense to you whatsoever and I'm pretty sure if you're a gamer you know exactly what I'm talking about whoops we're jumping the spring we don't want to jump oh wait oh it was a street race by gumbo Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got to find a street race. Son of a biscuit. Biscuit, biscuit. Who's got the biscuit? Okay. It was a street race. Well, 
We know that this car can handle pretty good. <laughs> I'm just getting the my money's worth. That's what I'm. That's what I did. Yeah, I'm just getting my money's worth. I did that deliberate. No, I really didn't. Nope. 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 Hippie van. Okay. Ooh, look, screen, screen, screen. Ooh, I can't talk this morning. I know why. Uh, I didn't sleep well, and I have not yet had my tea. In fact, it's sitting right in front of me, just steeping. It's a big, it's a big, it's a big thing, a tea. So it takes a while to, you know, get that going. You got to dunk that tea bag every now and then just to churn it and stir it up and get it going, you know. All right. Ooh, a Zonda R. I'm not really a fan. <clears throat> and, of course, I'll tell you what. I've never seen a Zonda R in in real life, in person. Never have. Uh, I've only seen videos, TV shows, video games of the Zonda R. And, honestly, I've never cared for them. You know, watching, watching, you know, ham and fawn over them in Top Gear and in the Grand Tour, I've just never understood it. Uh, you know, they, they just don't, they don't, they don't click for me, personally. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I'm sure that, it, you know, like, like Richard Hammond, you know, the Zonda clicks with a lot of people. Uh, I I think they're you know I don't know I just there's there's something about the way they look I just don't care for them you know they don't blow my skirt up as the saying goes or trip my trigger or float my boat none of that none of it. I saw a nice, I saw a nice, beautiful Aston Martin on the road the other day, or yesterday. It was yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? No, it was yesterday. See, all these days are blending into one another right now for me. But no, it was yesterday. Beautiful cars. I just love them. You know, they, they, they really, their lines right now are just so beautiful. I like them. I think they've got a great lineup. Uh, you know, I love the Alpha lineup. Obviously, those who've watched my videos know how much I love Alphas. Uh, throughout throughout the decades, you know, I mean, Alpha Romeo. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you you hear the horror stories. Yes, yes, yes. But still, I mean, they make a damn good-looking car. You know, and yes, they've had some dogs over the over the decades. I will admit that. But man, have they had some home runs. They've had some grand slam hitters there. I'll tell you that. Uh, do I like the design? I, Mr. Deacons. That's who did this design. So there you go. Yes. I, Mr. Deacon, I do like your design. And I will rate that as such. Thank you so much. For the time spent in creating said design. And since you're using Mr., uh, I would assume, yes. You are then a gentleman and a scholar. I don't know. I don't know you, so maybe you're not. Maybe you're a complete ass. No. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, let's see where we're going here. Next up is Chapter 3. Uh, five Ultimate Drift. Oh, it's just Ultimate. I thought we had to do an actual Drift uh, point. Whatever. Five Ultimate Drifts. 
That shouldn't be difficult, not this car. Just hang her out. There's one. There's two. There's three. No, I'm not going to get it on this one. Oh, there's four. I barely snuck it in there. And there's five. Next up is five. Okay, that I did. I was right in five stars and drift zones. Okay. All right. So here's a drift zone right here. Uh, we're just going to go back and forth into that. What What is the two stars? 60 and then 120. 60 and 120. So 60 and 120 are the star ratings that I need to touch base. Oh, there's that's the zone right there. Don't hit the flags. Don't hit the flag. Ah, oh, you hit a flag. All right, let's see what we can do with this bad boy, with a street, with a racing setup. Way out of whack, way out of whack, and I wasted most of that turn on that. Damn it. Not doing anything cutting corners here, kids. And we already got the two stars. There's our three stars on this. And then some. All right, so there you go. All right, there's three out of the five we need. Let's just turn around and run it one more time. Obviously, it show, we've shown how easy it is to get the three on this. Oh, you dirty bugger. Yeah, just get, get, got me out of sorts on that. There, we got our five stars, so it doesn't matter. There's principles involved here, right? There you go. Got it. All around drifter complete. All right. That should be it for the weekly. Weekly is done, dude. Dishes are done. Next up. All right. We got to. I'm going to uh, bank these points. And then we'll go to the event lab. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's narrow that stuff down and do this. Okay, so we want the event lab, which is, well, I don't know what's what. Modern Rally, that's a championship. What's this one? Retro sports car. The Colossus? Wait, what's this? Huh? What? Ooh. Oh, no, that's it right there. Oh. You have piqued my curiosity by doing the event lab at the Colossus. I'm curious. Thankfully, I am not a feline, so there's no threat of th deef. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got, kids. Uh, rally Monsters. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Rally monsters. Hmm. I'm just going to use that. All right, let's see where we are at on the T. Nice and piping hot, that's for sure. Ah, there you go. You get a little bit of ASMR. Is that what that's called, ASMR? I think so. I don't I don't freaking know what these things are these days. For those folks who like listening to the sounds of someone sipping tea there you go here we'll go back and do one more hold on ah. <laughs> okay that's good tea and any day now I don't know if I've looked at the so cute emote. If I even have it, I don't know. Okay, let's start it up. I don't even know what the hell we're doing. Go. All right, I'm assuming it's some kind of race. It's a, yeah. Well, that was quite the turn there. I wasn't expecting that. What we got? See, these event labs, these are just, you know, let's let's just see what they're like. So far, so good. The nifty little setup here. I like the fact that it takes it on the beach. You don't get that. Uh... Oh man, we got some ramps and everything. It looks like Jiminy Christmas. Great, here we go. Is that dirt? Oh, it is dirt. Interesting. It's a cool little setup through the water and stuff. I kind of like this. It's, it's pleasing to the eye. I like it. I like the fact that they're utilizing the uh, through the water and all that while there's a big freaking satellite dish there. Alright, up we go. See, I don't mind it when you go up like this where there's, you know, you got your walls to keep you back on the thing. This is kind of cool. I'm, I'm digging this. Nice, I like it. Kind of a roller coaster ish with the build up to the big hill almost, kind of sort of. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here, but. I'm, I'm ag I know what I'm doing. I'm actually just looking around. I'm not looking at what my car's doing, I'm just actually staring out of my peripheral because I'm looking around to see everything else. See, and here you go. Here's the big payoff. Here's the big payoff. Oh, wow, there you go. It'd be so much better if the freaking graphics weren't blinking in and out. Oh, 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 mama mia. That could have been ouchy wah wah. Nice little jump down on the ground there. Actually, I'm really enjoying this track. This, I, I could do a, I could do a race on this one, yeah. Well done, whoever built this. We'll look at who built it in a second here. 
Yes, we will. Uh, so my hats are off to you, my friend. So whoever built this, you did a great job. Very pleasing to the eye. I like the the roller coaster feel it had to it going through all that other the, the ramps and stuff like that. Uh, the choice of where you set it up at, great, love it. We don't get many setups in like that in the uh, water beach area there on that side of the game. I like it. Oh wait, what? Oh, there's a little, I don't know what that was. A little hiccup, maybe? I don't know. But I liked it. I liked it. And there's probably a lot of stuff I missed going through it, but I liked it. Yes, very nice. <clears throat> so I'll have to... Give props to the River Maya Super Scramble. All right, great. And we get a wheel spin. Oh, yeah. Dirty bugger. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And we're going to load for a while. So let's go and see. Well, it's, it'll... Got a wheel spin. All right, who created that? Um, unworthy plebe. Pleb. Unworthy pleb. Great job. I, I, great job. That was... Oh, I did it again. That was really enjoyable. And we qualified for the legacy, so let's grab that real quick. Next up is Rocky's Rocky Hills Speeds Zone. Oh, excuse me. I'm just all over the pool. What do we got to do? We got to hit 70. It's got to be an A-class, 90 to 09. That's, that's pretty broad spectrum there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, the question is, <sighs> coming in, which direction do you want to come in at? Well, we'll try this side first. We'll come from this direction first. Okay, so it's got to be A class. I'm sorry, I didn't look to see if it was a specific. Okay, it just has to be A class. 90 to 09. So let's look at, see what we've got to play with. Um, double check my mastery on. Oh my gosh, look at this. A car that I have no mastery done on. Wow. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Got a new car collected. There you go. All right. Now we're going to change cars. I, you know, it is what it is. Uh, year. Thank you very much. That's actually right where I want to be because... I do this, then I go right into the 90s. And actually, let's do this, and we want to go A-class. I'm not going to screw around. Oh, come on. There we go. Now we can just start at the bottom of the A. Ooh. You know what? It's right there. Let's do it. No fuss, no muss. I think it should be able to pull it off. I would think it should be able to pull it off if I remember the setup on this car. Yeah. 
And we're going to fail on the Jeez, OP. All right, maybe it's not what I was thinking. Damn it. That, this thing had no... There was no steering going on. There's just no room. It doesn't have the acceleration that I need. That's the problem. Oh, wait, what? Did I get it? I got it? I thought I had to hit 90. What did I have to hit? Oh, 70. Oh, okay. It did do it. Ah, ah look at that. Why did I think I had to do 90? Oh, probably because 1990. I don't know. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm not going to. Okay, what do we got here? Same thing. 90. Okay. I'm just going to stick in the same car. Oh, it's the one I hate. It's the one I really, really hate. Mm. This is probably one of the least favorite trailblazers on here for me. 32 seconds. Wow. There's going to... I'm, I'm really pre-warning you that there's going to be a lot of rewinding going on probably just to line everything up the right way I'm going to take it to the best yeah that's not what I wanted to do there that's the point I want to go. Yeah, we're not going to make it. Not going to happen, kids. 26, yeah. Um, let me, yeah, okay. Let me look at this. Go A class. Year. Okay, there we are at the bottom end of it. I need something. Where am I at? Uh, 7 4 and 7 2 on speed. Uh, I'm th this might be the best one I've got for the job as far as what setup is going on. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, we're going right there. The Mitsu. Let's give it a try. Speed is just a... I mean, it's, it's just a tick low, lower, but... The off-road was so much more uh, there that it's so much worth it. It's it's worth a shot, is what I'm saying. All right. The ex it's a dog on acceleration. Oh, wow, I didn't realize this was such a dog. Oh, that's not a good start, is it? No. This... Oh my god, this car is pissing me off. Screw this. Alright, I'm changing my angle. See, this is why I hate this trailblazer. I, I absolutely... Because it has to be almost almost has to be perfect on how you hit it. 
I mean, the speed, I'm already off on my speed. That's obvious. Um, but the path that you take is crucial. If you don't make the right decision at the right time, you're screwed. There we go. I, I think I found the right path. And I think we got it. There we go. We got it. A little bit of better off-road handling. That helps. Okay, so that takes care of that. And now we've got a couple of cha three championships to go through here. So let's do that. This is 80s, night or not 80s, it's 90s and noughties. 90s and noughties. The naughty 90s. Oh, yes, the 90s were naughty. <laughs> a lot of naughty people. A lot of naughty, stupid. There's a lot of stupidity in the 90s, let's say that. I mean, he's oh, Pete, there was so much stupidity in the 90s. Oh, we don't have much of a choice. Wow. Well, duh, obviously. I'm taking the Ferrari. The Testarossa over it. If the Testarossa is set up, then why am I tangled in my... No, that's got nothing to do with the Testarossa being set up. Just I'm tangled in my cords. Cause I'm ch I've got the controller plugged in so I don't have to switch. Because the batteries are close to dying. So you just got to plug it in off of the laptop. You, know, you just take take your little charger cord, your USB port, you plug it in, and there you go. Ha, 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 yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't charge, which is weird. But hey, it is what it is. All right, let's see how we do here, kids. I really should paint this white. Sunny Crockett style. All right. Just kind of making our way through the pack. This is a circuit, so it's three laps. Uh, we've got a more agile Porsche in front of us here. But the Ferrari's got more power. So, if I can get off the wall to begin with, we can reel it in on these straights. I mean, obviously the Porsche is out... The Porsche is going to outmaneuver me in the turns. So there's no question about it. It's just making sure that I have the power and acceleration to counteract that handling. You know, say what you want about a Porsche. It's agile as hell. They are very agile. More so than the Ferrari. And that's just because of the setup. I mean, that Porsche is a lot smaller vehicle than this Ferrari. Much smaller engine. I would say, you know, if you go back 90s and further back, the 90s and further back, I'm probably 50-50 on where I would sit Porsche versus Ferrari uh, on preference. It's 50-50. It depends on what, what models you're talking about, uh, on what I would prefer one over the other, you know. Um, 
nowadays, you know, I would have to pick Ferrari because so many of the Porsches all are, they're, they're all 911s for the most part. Every now and then you get a nice little diamond in the rough type thing situation, you know. Uh, the 918, oh, love that car, right? Carrera GT, I mean, I don't know. The Carrera GT is a weird, weird animal, isn't it? You know, it. I think without the Carrera GT, you probably wouldn't have gotten the 918. Maybe. Don't know. Because I think there's a lot of career GT in that car. You know, nowadays, if it's not a 911 from Porsche, I'd probably like it. Uh, I just... There's just too many 911s is what I'm saying. Oh, it, it's oversaturated. Is that would that be the right terminology on what I'm thinking? Yes. You know, you've muddied the waters, Porsche, with all these different variances of one car. It's just it's nauseating. You know, and I don't even know. You know, I, I and I've never considered myself a Porsche enthusiast. You know, <clears throat> the Porsche super fan, what have you. Uh, so if you are a Porsche enthusiast or, or super fan or whatever, what are your thoughts about the amount of 911s we have seen in the last 10, 15 years? <coughs> All the different aspects. I mean, it seems... Every time a new fad comes out, they got to create a 911 for that, you know. Oh, okay, we've we've got track day cars and road cars being one and the same. Okay, let's come out with a new uh, 911, you know. Oh, a GT2, great. Now, oh, we want to go better than that. Let's go GT3. Oh, let's go a little bit better than that and put a GT4 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's It's a little much, isn't it? Isn't it? I think it is. You know, just have, you know, I understand you want different levels, right? Different levels. You know, take a, take a cue from GM, right? Take a cue from Chevrolet. You got your beer can base level, right? Then one step up from that to where you get air conditioning and a radio is your LS level. This, of course, we're going a few years back when they had these. Then you had your LT, right? That that was your that was your, you know, that was your luxury level, right? That was your pretty what the leather and all the goodies, right? That was the LT was the goodies on the Chevys. All right, then they introduced the LTZ, which was putting a lot of performance into that luxury level car. Okay. Now, for for a few years, that was the, the, the classification. But then even Chevrolet got into the uh, over overdoing it with the levels. Because then you got into LT1, LT2, LT3... LS1, LS2. These are these not not engines or anything. These these are just uh, packages on what had what. You know this package has this. You know no more. You know if you want this, you're gonna have to get this package with all this other crap on it. Well, what if you didn't want all that other crap? That's that's the problem. So rather than just you know building out cars they didn't want you to order cars anymore I, I thoroughly believe that's why they went with all these custom packages because they stopped wanting people to order cars the way they wanted them built with what they wanted right because I think 
that. I'm, I'm dying on this. That's what I think. I'm dying on this track. Uh, this is not the car for this track. But um, because it's more cost effective and less time consuming if they just have have one line set up to make it this way rather than okay we got to stop everything and, and customize this car because this guy wants this guy wants all of these things except the GPS where'd that car go it disappeared oh you know ex except the the uh, GPS navigation system right Everything in the tech package, but that because the the person does not want that big ass screen in their vehicle or whatever. You know, you get what I'm saying. Uh, that's just an example of what could possibly be going on. So rather than that, now you cannot. You know, they they want to discourage people from ordering things the way they wanted them set up. And I think it's horse crap. Because now you're being dictated to how I knew I was going to get caught on that one. You know, now it's saying, okay, here you go. This is what you get, period. Now, in a sense, I part of me agrees with that. Uh, but you don't have to sit there and fine-tune that, right? You say, here you go. These are our, these are our trim levels. These are our performance levels, right? Here you go. Pick one. That I was trying to get away with something right there and it didn't work. You know, all right, here you you can have the base vehicle, you can have you know, one upgrade from the base you can have level two level three maybe even a fourth level if you want there you go cut and dry all right fine i get that but you got to make those levels so vastly different you know that that it appeals to the person and i think that's where we've you know we've kind of lost ground uh, with the car manufacturing side of things you know I, I, I see and that's where I fall I fall right in the middle because I'm still part of that I'm still part of the crew that the, the generation that was able to order it the way I want it I want this particular thing on it. I want this. I want this. I don't want that. I want this. And I want this color of car with this color of interior. That's what I want. Now go make it. Okay. And that's that's how it was. Now we... Now, you know, the younger folks out there, they don't necessarily have that degree of, you know... Uh, ordering customization, I guess, right? Now it's here's what we're making. Pick, pick the one you that that most suits you. So yeah, I'm 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 on the I'm on the fence when it comes to that. I get it, but I don't I don't maybe I get it and I don't like it, right? I don't know. Hmm. How did we even get on this topic? I have no freaking clue. I have no freaking clue how I got here. But I got here nonetheless. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, the 911 took us down that road, didn't it? Yeah, the 911, that dirty bastard of a car. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Am I though? <laughs> Oh, we've got a heck of a field on this today, kids. There's some F-50s in the field. Which is never a good thing. A 
I should have looked at the track. That's all right. I can I can do this. Is that a Diablo? I just when I smashed him, I just caught a brief glance of the car. Oh, I hate this turn. Not let me in underneath you, are you? You're not gonna do it. See, that's where this the Porsche comes in handy right in those turns right there. Now let's turn it on. Let's see what we can do about pulling these two in. Undercut him. That's what. That's just what I got to do on this. Got to pick my spots and just do that little. See that? How that Porsche just zipped right in there like that. That was pure agility, and that was just pure brutish cornering on my part there. I'm just feathering it through this is what I'm doing. You know, in and out, in and out, up and down, up and all that. That, I got off it too soon, or too late. Too soon. Now it's just about maintaining this lead. Defense is the name of the game now. Utilizing the acceleration. And the size. The weight. Because I know it's at Porsche. I'm cutting off that inner clip. Which is basically taking the agility factor right out of the equation if I can hog this road like I am and cut him off there you go now it's just that and there's no way he's coming up on me with the acceleration you, you got to be defensive sometimes ah yes If it was an actual race, you know, yeah, I mean, they're 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 not going to risk hurting their car, so they're going to back way the heck off. All right, we got the GTR. That championship is a done deal. There you go. And if you are now joining us for expecting to see some Legos, well, I do apologize. Do I? Yes, I do. Uh, we're finishing up. We got a couple more. Um, we got a couple more. Oh, wait. No, okay. I just looked. Uh, I don't have Legos planned until 9 o'clock. So I must have changed that. How sweet is that? Cool. All right. Oh, I keep hitting that button. I don't want to hit that button. There you go. Okay. Playlist, please. Thank you. Where are we at? Where are we at? We got two more championships to go and a photo op. Okay, so let's go here. <coughs> All right. Montana Trail. Montana? Because it's got that little squiggly up there. It's got a... Is it Tanya? Okay, this is what I have. Um, six and five, six. Six, two, five, seven. That's better. Six, two, six, three, five, five off-road. That might be... Uh, 
honestly, the off-road is two clicks, and you're only losing a click on speed. It's got better handling, but this has better acceleration. Mm, this is, this is, you know what, I'm going to go with the, yeah, I'm going with the Prezi WRX. S T I. That's right. Decision, decision. I mean, they're both great cars to use. Just which one do you feel better using? Mm -hmm, you know? You gotta love that Subaru blue. The old Scooby Doo blue. Pleasing to the eye. I mean, the funny thing is, is I like the looks of the Mitsus, but if you if if you if you said here you go, you got to choose one. I'm gonna choose the Subaru. You know, it, you got one to use in you know for whatever purpose. I'm gonna choose the Subaru. I've driven plenty of Subarus in my day, and I've driven plenty of Mitsus in my day as well. Uh, and I'll be honest, I, while I like the look of that Mitsu, you know, I gotta say, I like the way the Subaru drives a lot better in my opinion. Just for the way I drive around tracks and whatnot, it, it's just, or I should say did drive. Since the last concussion, I haven't been able to do anything track-wise. Uh, equilibrium is completely wonky. Can't handle uh, turns, hard turns. And obviously, I can't handle them in the game either. Ha-ha! <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. There we go. So what what is the choice that you would make? Ask yourself that. Have you driven both? What styling do you like better? What handling do you like better? Now, I will say that Mitsu came close in, uh, I would say, right in the round 08, 09, in, in that time frame. Uh, what would that have been? Was, it, was that the Evo 10? I think that was the 10. Uh, they came really close, performance-wise, with that car. I, I, I will say that, you know. I think... That's probably the closest it has ever been, because I think Subaru kind of, you know what, they were feeling pretty smug at that point with what they were putting out, and I think they spent more time trying to get that BRZ off the ground and, and get that popular, that I think they just kind of put the uh, these on cruise control, so to speak. Hey, we've got a winning car with a winning package. WRX, you know, we don't need to do anything with it. It is what it is. You know, and I, th I think you saw them just kind of saying, yeah, you know what? We're good. We're good. And they were. They, they were good. But, you know, Mitsu wanted a piece of that action, and the sad thing is, is I don't think they put enough out as far as getting the word out how good that Evo was. I mean, that Evo, that was a good car. I, it really was. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not taking anything away from previous Evos, after, you know, before that, but, you know, there was always, anybody who's 
driven them both. Even if you're a Mitsu fan, you would have to say there was a, there was always a gap. There was always a gap between those two. You know, and I think with that Evo 10, that was the closest it was ever going to be. I mean, look, look you got all Subarus. <laughs> There's a reason for that. <laughs> Even the game knows. Even the game knows. Not a single... <laughs> Not a single Mitsu in there. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. All right. Let us go to this one up here. Up here. A little short one here. This is a little shorty make short. And da 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 da. We got 17 grand out of that last race. Okay, very good. Sticking in it. We're sticking with it. It was a good car. Got the job done. It, it, you know, that that is this and and <laughs> there the pun is not intended but that is the legacy of this car it's a good hard working car you know it really is it's it's if you're looking for an off-roader on off-roader right out of the box doesn't get better than this car. It really doesn't, at least in my opinion. Straight from the dealership. There you go. You know, fresh off the boat, so to speak. Here you go. That was my mistake. I tapped it in the wrong spot, but oh well. Is that the Bubble Legacy? The Hatcheroonie? It looks like it. Yeah, it is. That's, that's the one that I really don't care for is that little hatchback look on these cars. I don't know. It's just me. You know, I, th I think they should have kept their hatchbacks with the outback side of things. That's just that's just me. A little bit slight. Yeah, that was deliberate to cut him off like that. Kind of like the two-tone look of that white from the snow. There we go. One more lap to go with this. Love that view. Look at that view. Pay attention to what you're doing. Stop looking at the view. But it is a lovely view. Trimming the corners, skinning them. A little bit of a drift tap there, that's all right. There we go. 
And that's that. Groovy. See, I like that two-tone. Oh, what a stretch that was. Finished. Okay. Oh. One more championship. Oh, no, we got another race in this, and then we got another championship, and then photo photo op. That's right. Where is our next race? Right, Cha. Lovely beach scene right there, yeah. All right. That's the tea for the day. Well, until later in the evening. Final race of this rally shakedown, eh? We're sticking with it. Not changing. It's a good looking car. I'll say it again. Good looking car. Not the best looking car, but it's a good looking car. Probably, you know, I one of the reasons why I, I picked that Mitsu over the stylish why stylistically is because the Scooby Doo's are a little bit more boxier. And I like more of a, a sleek look. If that makes sense. Well, it doesn't even have to make sense, does it? No, it's 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 just what I like. I like it to be a little bit more sleek than boxy. I'm not a fan of boxy looking cars. You know, cars gotta it's like anything else for me, it's gotta have character. You know? It's like houses. Same thing. You know, I don't like boxy looking houses. You know, a house has to have character to it. You gotta say something, right? I cannot stand boxy, rectangle, here you go, looking houses. I, I just, they irritate the hell out of me. You know, throw, throw like an awning or something on that son of a bitch. Give it some kind of character. Throw some brickwork or, you know, do something, right? To give it a little pizzazz. Well, not necessarily pizzazz, but, you know, I mean, some people might take that. If I say pizzazz, some people might take it the wrong way. Like the other day, <laughs> this is taking pizzazz a little bit too far. Or maybe... <laughs> I don't know. They could maybe very well. They are a Mary Kay Cosmetics rep. But I drove by a house, and I kid ye not, this house was Mary Kay Cosmetic pink. You know, those, those in the States know what I'm talking about. If you've seen the Mary Kay reps that have, you know, they've been good enough to get their, their Mary Kay vehicle. That pink vehicle, oh my god. Somebody painted their house that pink. <clears throat> and it was just... You know, I don't mind the color pink, but... This was a big house. And there was a lot of pink. You know, I mean, a lot of pink. Like... Barbie's dream house wouldn't be this pink, okay? It, it 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 was a sight to see. I'll I'll say that. It was it was an attention getter, and maybe that's what they were after. I don't know. You know if you're gonna put pink on a house, you should, it should be an accent color, in my opinion. It shouldn't be the entire house color. If if you want pink on your house, we're talking like trim and shutters, right? <clears throat> there you go, trim and shutters. Maybe even paint your eaves pink. Who knows? 
do it that way. <clears throat> but the entire house, it was just... I'm waiting for the day that I come across a house that is like day glow green. Like that kind of green on that flag. Wouldn't that be something? Or, <clears throat> if you got a White House, sorry for clearing my throat from your ears. What if somebody took their White House and just set up a whole bunch of black lights around the perimeter of the house and lit those suckers up at night? Ha <laughs> ha! That would actually be kind of cool. Now that I think about it, that would be kind of cool. And coming around, getting to that final stretch, and here we go. The end is in sight. Bingo, lovely, we win. There, I had to get that, ooh, that, that one scratched coming out, yikes. Okay. Lovely. Woohoo. Kumbaya. All is well. Complete sweep. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Get another Volvo. Cool beans. One more championship to go. La 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 la. What's up next, Doc? All right, I need to just do it this way. Rally shakedown there. That'll take me right to what I want. Racing in the 90s. Let's do it. 90s retro sports car B class. That's very specific. The question is, boys and girls, do I have a retro? Do I have a retro sports B class from the 90s? I don't know if I do. But we'll find it. we'll find out right now. Uh, we'll enter the championship and we'll see what we got. As I scratch me heed, scratch me heed. Oh, look, I've, all right. Well, this works out wonderfully because um, that's the car we got to use for the photo shoot, so we might as well, right? Absolutely. I'd like to see the 7-Eleven paint job on this car. Yes, I would. These were, oh man, these cars right here. Something else. Hmm. It's a good looking car. It really is a good looking car. All right, here we go. Avante. There's the 300ZX. Skyline. 240. Another Skyline. Oh, 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 oh. Stop looking at the cars and watch the road.
Well, it is a street race, so pretty much anything goes on these things. Flip it. Why not? Yeah. <clears throat> Trees are lit up pretty, aren't they? Yes, they are. Pink and green, pink and green. I didn't even see where the picture's supposed to be done at. We'll have to look at that. Let's do that real quick, because it'll tell us right here. Okay, oh, the arch. All right, yeah, okay, now I remember. Now I remember the arch. I don't know if we have a race. It takes us nearer around that, but we, we, we'll get it done. Shortcut through the vegetation. Of course, it really wasn't a shortcut because it slowed me down enough for those guys to come up and get on my back end. They're crowding my bumper. And that. I don't like that. I don't like you being in front of me. Get to the back, Junior. Know your role. Second place is the best you're going to get. Purple smoke. There we go. Wonderful. Finito. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Where does that put us for the next race? Vina Vina Chicken Dinner. And. Nope. Crap. It's crap. Okie dokie, Arda Chucky. Loading. Loading, loading, loading. Come on, please. Thank you. Oh, there's one right down the road. We'll go to it. Where is the third one? Up here. Okay. We're just going to go right down the street. <clears throat> No sense in fast traveling since I'm right here. Bum, 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 bum. Let's get her done. Yeah. We're sticking in it. I'm sticking with it. It's a good car. Good car. Is this a continuation? I wonder. I, I don't know my Mitsu histories that well. Uh, is this a continuation of the FTO? Curious. Or is it, or is it more in line with the GT? What was it? The GT three thousand. Stomach cramp for a second. Right when I started. Oh, that's not good. Race through it. Race through it. That's what you get for eating a crap ton of grapes.
All right. Subsided. For now. <laughs> Come on. Get with the program here, kid. Reel them in. Oh, 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 oh. That was a bad, bad, bad. I wasn't paying attention to what was going on here. <clears throat> I still screwed that up, but oh well. Get out of my way, Miata. Oh, speaking of MX-5s, I just saw one of the newer MX-5s yesterday. Holy cow, that thing is sharp. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really look like... Honestly, it looks more BMW Z4? Z3 ish? It had, it was really different. I actually thought I because I saw the car, right? It was coming at me. I was actually son of a bitch. I was out of my vehicle and wa I was actually walking towards my vehicle and it was coming at me and I'm looking at it and all I saw was the Mazda insignia on the front, on the hood, right? And as it got closer, I'm like, is that a new, is there a new RX-7? Because it had that RX-8, RX-7 look to it. It did not have an MX-5 look to it. And I was really, what is going on with the handling of this car right now? Uh... I was like, wow, that is a beautiful car. So now, what I'm going to have to do sometime today is I'm going to have to get on Monster's website and take a look at that closer. I really, because wow, it, it was a good looking, because I had it, once I got in my vehicle, I drove by it, and I saw that it was an MX-5 badge on it, on the back end of it, and... I was like, that's an MX-5? No way. It doesn't even look like it. It, it. I mean... What is going on with this car? It's, there is no grip now. Oh, well. So be it. Anywho. But, yeah, I, I was really impressed with it. it it's a sharp-looking vehicle. Let me... Of course, it, it might have been a special package. I don't know. Alright, what are we doing here? There you go. Let's go to the official Mazda site. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's the 2022. It, it's a sharp looking vehicle. It really is. Yeah. MX-5 Miata RF. What is... I mean, that's... That's pretty cool. What do we got trim-wise? That's something. <laughs> you have arrived at your destination. Club Grand Touring. Club Space. Grand Touring starts at 35 grand. That's not bad. 
Oh, the club. Actually, no, the club is the higher because the club starts at 38. Wow. All right. Here you go, Mazda. Grand Touring's the base. Okay. And they do have it in a convertible as well, folks. That, that, that's a good looking car. Oh, my hat's off to him. With it looking that good, I'm surprised I hadn't seen one prior. Because it's been out for a year. Hmm. I guess it, maybe it's not that popular of a seller around here. Let me know. Is it a pop? Have you seen quite a few of them around you? Inquiring minds want to know. All right, we gotta win this one. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I gotta gotta get this one. Hawk Chris 46, no offense my friend, but you, you, you're going down to Chinatown. There we go. Now it's just about clean racing and defense at this point. That last race showed me that this car is outmatched in some areas. So I gotta be a little bit more mindful of what I'm doing here. So if somebody comes up in the chat, I do apologize. Uh, I'm not gonna be glancing at the chat during this race like I usually do. Just cause, you know what, this is one we gotta win. For the uh, to to guarantee the championship win, so I gotta I gotta actually do a little bit of actual driving on this one. And look at the road, not the screen. Came in a bit hot on that, and I'm going to pay for it. Yep, they're all catching up now. That was my mistake. And that was not smart on my part at all. Coming in that hot. You can't give these guys the light of day. Because then that's when they start coming at you. See that one broke away. It was in the pack, and now it's breaking away to come at me. Still hanging in there at the bottom of my map. I see it. There it's gone. I see purple. There we go. Championship complete. Wonderful. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Five points. Zippity doodah. Zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Yeehaw. I ain't singing it. I just say yeehaw. All right. We got the three, five, five. Wonderful. 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 Now, if you're tuning in for Lego, well, it'll be up here in a little bit. I'm going to have to take a moment to switch over, and I'm going to have to take a moment to myself. Uh, yes. But first, before anything, we've got to go down here, and we've got to go to the arch. Which I don't know exactly where the arch is. 
Shouldn't be that hard to find though, right? Let's see. It's not behind me. Not that way, not that way. All right, we'll go this way and see. No, that's not the arch. My guess is it would be right where the end of this entrance into the city, maybe. That's just what I'm thinking. Not there. Let's go check this way. <clears throat> or is it by that little shopping area here? Not there. It says might be up there. I don't know. There it is. That'll work. And there's our picture. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Back it out, back it out. Yes, it is. And we've got that. That takes care of it <clears throat> until we do the daily challenges. That's all. That is all we can do at this point. And it looks like we got another. Did we? Yeah, we, we got the Jag. All right, 40 points. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, where are we at for series cars? Uh, we're almost. All right, I'm almost to that Mercedes, and I want that Mercedes. I really do. Yes, I do. Okay, with that being said, that is where we are going to end this Forza Horizon 5 Festival Playlist Part 2. Yes, 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 for the winter season of Series 11. So I thank you. I would ask that you follow the Twitch channel, that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video on YouTube, share it, set the notifications, all that lovely stuff. And don't forget, as you go out into this world, treat all those you come in contact with with kindness, dignity, and respect. And you know, I hope that all those that come in contact with you Treat you with kindness, dignity, and respect. So until next we meet, which if you're into Lego, won't be too long. Give me five minutes, ten at the most. <laughs> stay safe, and by all means, stay cool. Ta-ta.